Today we're going to replace the sway bar links on a 2007 Saturn view. And you can couple this project with replacing a lot of these suspension components. So today I'm going to be doing the CV axle in and out of tie rods, the ball joints and the uh, sway bar links. So here's some of the tools you might need for this job. Uh, number one is a long breaker bar to get the uh, wheel nut off when replacing the CV axle and also some large sockets for getting that wheel nut off. Uh, other things, grease, um, which is really good for filling these uh, zerk fittings on uh, tie rods and ball joints. And also a bag of tools and if doing the inner eye, uh, tie rods then an inner tie rod loosener and tightener tool which you can rent for free at places like Pep Boys and AutoZone. And uh, I've got a 50-50 mix of acetone and transmission fluid, which uh, is really good as a penetrating fluid, and that will get the uh, lug nuts off and wheel nuts and anything which is seized on. Also, some brake cleaner is nice just for cleaning things up. Let's get to work. First thing you want to do is take off the dust cover. Loosen the lug nuts. With the lug nuts broken and loose, jack up the vehicle and place on jack stands. Alright, with the vehicle securely on jack stands, I've chopped it off on ramps too. Just give it a tiny little shake to make sure it's safe and that you feel comfortable working under it. Next thing, take the wheel off. Alright, with the wheel off, this is our... Uh... This is our sway bar here, which is this uh, kind of long sort of metal rod that goes to the other end of the car in pretty much the same way. And these links uh, tie into these kind of uh, suspension uh, or struts here. Uh, and if there's a problem with a link, usually it's a boot. You can see this one at the bottom, it's split and uh, grease is coming out, contaminants going in and then the joint here wears and it's not doing its job properly. Uh, symptoms of a bad sway bar, um, well it's an anti-sway bar really, so you, when you're doing turns and sudden movements your car's kind of going a bit crazy like this, like it's, it's sort of swaying, so that's one symptom, but uh, uh, I'd best replace them in pairs if one's going, the other one's likely on its way up too. And, Usually you can kind of buy them in pairs. On this vehicle, the part number is slightly different, so uh, you will notice they look a tiny bit different too when they arrive. All right, first thing we want to do is put a little penetrating grease or fluid on these boards here. There's one here and one down there. Let that soak in five, 10 minutes if you're having a tough time uh, undoing them. They're both 18 millimeters. While these bolts are soaking in grease, if you're repairing any other components, let those soak in too. Like these outer tie rods and things. Let it all soak at one time so you only have to wait one once. So because these bolts keep spinning and spinning on this vehicle, there's a little hex uh, sort of outlet here. It's a number six. So you keep this here. You can see the bolt goes with the nut. So all we need to do is slot a wrench on there as well. And that will prevent it from... Uh, spinning as we so this is kind of what you need to do have two hands there keeping one sturdy and turning the other if your car doesn't have the kind of hex uh, hole on the end there you can kind of just jam a screwdriver or get some grips on the inside of here to keep this steady same with holding this still with some crimp pliers so uh, on the good end here of the existing one it's quite hard to move it seems quite good but the one with the failing boot it remo uh, moves really freely, so it's a, it's a good indication that it needs replacing. And here's the new sway bar link right here. Some of them you kind of need to just pinch this in a bolt or get a small wrench. The design really changed a lot. You can see these new ones don't have the Allen wrench, but yeah, they look good and they're on, so let's do the other side.